What's up guys? We're finally on his way to the NC500. Well, I'm not sure, exactly sure how much of the NC500 we're going to be doing. We're not going to specifically say yes, we're doing the full because um, we ain't got that much time and we want to enjoy it. We don't want to rush it. And I've got all my dive gear in here. I've got my dive wetsuit, my snorkel, uh, my spear gun, one wheels. <laughs> I've got everything. Metal detector. Metal detector for the beach. Oh, mate, I am so excited. Like a kid in a sweet shop. Let's go. The first leg, we're on his way up to the Kelpies. We've just set off. So we have got a four hour, 50 minute drive to the Kelpies, all being well. Uh, fingers crossed on traffic so let's go see you at the kelpies hopefully when we get there uh, it's not too late to put the drone up and it's not raining because i really want just one lap of the kelpies with the drone lit up at night filmed in 4k for the vlog that'll just set the tone for the trip really right long drive see you in a bit bye Evening guys, wow. Uh, to be honest, that went too bad of a drive. Um, four hours, 50 minutes to get up to the Kelpies. We left around six years, something like that. And what time is it now? We've been here, we haven't been here long. 20 past 11, we've got the visors in, just settled down. The car park's just down the road from the Kelpies. So obviously we want to see them in the night. I've grabbed the drone, I'm going to get my phone. I'm gonna have a walk up and hopefully I'll be able to get, I just want one lap, just at night, just a night shot with the drone around the Kelpies. That's why I've stomped up here for to get it in the night. So let's go and have a look at them. Uh, and then uh, it's late and I'm knackered from driving. So I'm gonna have a beer, quick lap, and then get Zez down. So see you in a minute, bye. <laughs> well, I hope you can see us. Because <laughs> it's really dark, <laughs> but we're just walking down to the Kelpies. Wow, mate! I knew they looked big on the pictures, but I didn't realise just how big they was. To be honest, look awesome. I'm glad we've got here at night to see them. Just uh, I'm quite nervous about getting drawn up. There don't seem to be anybody about, but there's the main. There's a like a really busy road, part of the motorway as you come off at the back. Because we've seen them as we're coming off the motorway first. Is it the A9? Amazing then, isn't it? And then you have to go all the way round to come back. Um, yeah, Sean's drone. I've not done many night flights before because once your drone's off, you can see a few flashing lights. So it's quite easy to lose your, your bearings of getting it like come back to you, so where you are, because obviously I'll disappear on the yeah. Anyway, we'll show you that in a minute. Rambling. Oh mate, these these look awesome. You Finally, like you lose your drone or you won't. <laughs> yeah, I'll either lose your drone, Sean, or I won't. I won't lose it. So it's fifty-fifty, I suppose, isn't it really? Heads <laughs> or tails. <laughs> but I am so excited to be out. Back out of Luan, proper adventuring in the van again, it's it's awesome. And this is just gonna kickstart it like like perfectly. So we're so tired till we got here. <laughs> yeah. And then we're out right awake again. <laughs> <laughs> we're proper tired, weren't we? Mm -hmm. We're well, a few days you took work and then, and then uh, I was here. Yeah, uh, so let's hear this. How amazing are they? 
<coughs> we're just saying there's a load of barges here. I didn't realise that. How cool would it be just to moor up there and wake up and have a brew right inside of these? Oh, I am quite nervous about getting this drone up. I so want that drone shot. But it's late. I suppose there's nobody around who's going to get, you know what I mean, who's going to say anything. But it's late and there's people obviously staying on them barges. So we're going to go off out of the way, launch the drone, get it up to a decent altitude so nobody can really hear it. Do my loop round, fly it back to me, get it down, put it away, crash in the van with a slurp. I've done it. Mission complete. Let's go. I got the shot. Well, I think I, I think I got the shot. I got enough for a nice little bit of B-roll. That's what I rushed here to get for tonight, and just to get that shot. Um, when I was planning it, obviously on the way up, what you don't realise until I got here, power lines quite close, right next to the kelpies, just here. Um, so I tried to stay well away from them obviously um, but obviously at night you can see the main tower but you can't see the cable so that was a bit of a bummer but I managed to get close enough nice swoop pass around one side stayed away from the road yeah anyway it's done got it yes <laughs> I love it when you set out a little mission and I was complete First thing ticked off the Scotland list. <laughs> <laughs> mission complete. <laughs> Me and Lauren did a recce mission. I went and sat over there, got it up, sorted. How cool are they? So glad we've come here straight away. See them in the dark. Right. A few more snaps on the phone for the Insta and socials. And then we'll get round to the van, have a beer, get me head down. Knackered. See you guys <laughs> shortly. I really enjoyed that. I know, I was really tired when we pulled up. <laughs> I'm all excited now, I'm not able to sleep. Um, so, just got to work out now how we pay. We think it's, is it £10 we think? It's £10, but it's just like £10 for the day or something, isn't it? Um, we can't see a machine. We can't see any machine anyway, it's obviously pitch black. So, not sure, so we're going to have a quick mooch. We may have to just pay in the morning or something. Not sure, so we're just walking back to the van. Lily's got the wine. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Water. Yeah, right. It's Easter. <laughs> right, let's get back. Um, we've not really seen one camper van on the way all the way up, have we, Lou? So one around about near home. That was it. Um, but we've got here. There's quite a few in the car park here. And one is home, the opposite side of the road. That's it. Not as many as I thought there would be, though. So. Oh, mate, proper buzzing to be out on this trip. I mean, we'll be looking forward to it for like so long. Morning. Morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. So, we're just getting up. We've just got the blinds out, as you've seen. Dried the windows. Just getting a brew. And then we've got to start uploading the vlog. The vlog's all done for this week but I've got to upload it to YouTube, so I'm going to set that going on the laptop in the back here, connected to my phone where, and then we're going to go to around to the Falkirk wheel so I'll have a quick look at that and then we're going to punch off to Inverness I don't think the wheel's open yet though, is it to 10? Is it about quarter past seven? Yeah, when we open we can just pull up and just have a look um, We don't wait till 10, do we? We'll have a proper look another day maybe paddleboard round there or something 
But no, I want to get cracking, get on the uh, proper route. So. Look forward to it, aren't we? Yeah, buzzing. Quite so, right early this morning. <laughs> I know. Wednesday yeah. morning. <laughs> <laughs> we just got woken by the. Um, what do you call it? Carbon monoxide monitor. Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, woke up. Holy shit. What? Like, it's never gone off before and it's like panic stations. I'm like, why is that going off? get to under the cupboard, could we? <laughs> Obviously, it beds down. It's in the back of that cupboard. Um, so, anyway, it turns out no panic. It's just batteries. <laughs> Got you up though. <laughs> Got me up though. <laughs> right, slips, laptop, upload, quick tidy up, Falkirk wheel. See you guys soon. <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> More is in her face. <laughs> what do you want? So we've just drove round to the Falkirk wheel. What an incredible feat of engineering. So from the marina at the bottom there, just down there, you drive your boat into the bottom of that big wheel. And then, and I can't believe it, I'll, I'll find that definitely, it's, it's something ridiculous, like really low power, to, use of power, to spin that wheel all the way round, and then you drive out of the top, and then down the canal there. So it brings boats up from the marina down there, up and on. How incredible is that? Proper feat of engineering. I wish we'd got a bit longer, because this don't open till 10, so I can't imagine that even being in use. I would like to stick around and see that in action, because it would be incredible, but probably another day, because we want to get moving, get up to Inverness and get this route, uh, NC500 started. Um, so it's, another th it's nearly three hours drive from here, punching up to Inverness, and that's the official start, so. I don't want to hang around too long here, so we're just gonna have a quick look, take some snaps, and then get on the road. Yeah, boy, the vlog's uploaded, but it's really slow. I hope it gets <laughs> uploaded for you guys on Friday. Oh no. just come off the M80 and we're just calling it Sterling Services so we can use the toilet, grab a coffee and hopefully they've got a bit of Wi-Fi in here so while we're sitting and have a bit of Wi-Fi, uh, bit of Wi-Fi, while I'm sitting and have a bit of breakfast and a coffee we're gonna try and upload the vlog because it's extremely slow and I want it to come out on Friday so yeah. Missions of a YouTuber, we're just getting out of the van and the man says I'm all right to keep my cro crocs on. Crocs on? Yeah. So, yeah, of course you are, you're on the NT500, then. <laughs> then. What, even with you're me like, back? That's a proper like, <laughs> outfit, mate, that is. I like Rainbow Bright. <laughs> <laughs> what is she like? See what I have to go through to try and get a vlog out for you guys. Ah. In the services, trying to get on free Wi Fi to get it uploaded for Friday. What are we like? Please select journey time. NC500 on option. Leisure travel without children. Select. Right, stand by, I'll get this done. We'll get some coffees. I did it again. <laughs> you did what? Again? Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's like 20p more, 20p more, and I thought, oh, I can't be that big. <laughs> <laughs> so, did it to me the other day. Went to Starbucks and got me a massive grande. I better have it black, like. No milk. I'll drop it back or off my tits. <laughs> so it's not really working. We're on 18%. It's gone up like 5% since we've been here. So we're going to grab us coffees, get in the van, and then get moving. So we're back on the road again. 
out of my little Tom Dibbs bit. <laughs> so we're on the A9 on the way to Inverness and we've just passed. We're on the um, A9 on the way to Inverness and as you come up to a bigger island on the A9, there's a massive sports shop, the Tiso shop. We've just gone past that. That's where me and Luan on the previous vlogs ended up buying a whole set of paddle boards and wetsuits and all sorts because when we were at Lot Lomond and the weather were nice, we really wanted to do paddle boards. So we just like <laughs> random bought a full set of everything. So we're on the road again. We are one hour, 52 minutes away from Inverness which is the official start and finish to the NC500. So we should get, uh, we should arrive there, ETA 20 past 12 around there, uh, depending on whether we have another drink stop or a wee stop, etc., etc. But we're not 100% sure what the plan is from Inverness. Uh, we know we're going to anti-clockwise direction, um, but we don't know whether to have a look around Inverness because we've obviously never been to Inverness before. So we might spend the afternoon in Inverness, then head round to a campsite, because we're going to do it anti-clockwise, not far from Inverness. See if we can get on there for a night, because uh, we've found a lot of the campsites aren't doing just one night, as with it being the Easter Bank holiday. So hopefully we can get on there for one night, plug in, charge the batteries back up before we hit the wilderness, up in the north. And also we can now uh, empty his toilet there and have a shower ready to get cracking so yes as, you, as soon as you're on the A9 towards Inverness now which we are on the scenery just starts appearing and you realize just how epic this trip is going to be so can't wait this is only a, just scratching the surface yet yeah I'm so excited let's get up to the north we just bumped into a good friend of ours he lives up here and he's just working around the corner. So we've just bumped into him and said hi, because we've got to. Baz, you absolute legend. And he's told us about this pick, I think it's Pick Lockery Dam. It's just around the corner from where we was, just off the A9 towards Inverness. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at this. If I've got that wrong, I'll put it on the screen now and just exactly what it's called. But there's a nice river and a dam, so it's worth having a look we're right next to it. So we're just having a walk up there now. Yeah, boy. <laughs> the guy just down there doing some fly fishing. It's quite cold up here. A bit colder than the water's down there. Wind, a little bit windy. And we just had a quick stomp up to have a quick look. And the line's freezing. That's <laughs> <laughs> me and I'm freezing. I'll roast in a minute. Okay, we're like a different day in the sun, wasn't it? <laughs> it's quite a nice spot. If I had a bit more time, we'd probably have a walk up at the top of there. Um, we're just going to have a quick wee stop. Quick look at this, then get back on the road again. Happy <laughs> time to sing this. <laughs> Tom Dibblink. Um, yeah, right, Inverness, let's go. We got snow on the mountains, baby! <laughs> oh man, the scenery is already epic, and we're still on the A9 towards Inverness. We are. One hour, 12 minutes away, ETA now, 12.55. And Luan, we're found from Baz's recommendation, who we met just off the A9. He's recommended us this area where we're going, because he says the salmon's probably flowing well at the minute, so it brings all the dolphins in. If we look, you might see dolphins coming in the bay. I'll show you that on the map shortly, and the area, because I can't quite remember the name now I'm driving. But Luan's found a campsite right on the shore right, on the, uh, right next to the sea hopefully it looks really nice 26 pound for the night so we'll do a full review of that later so it just gives us a bit of a base for tonight can have a shower freshen up sort the van i'll fill up with fuel again in inverness i am down to half a tank already from home i've done 158.5 miles so far and with another 64 to go to Inverness. So I think the rule of thumb is 
on the NC500 is just fill up when you can. So obviously if an S will fill right onto the top and then as we're moving round, we'll uh, just, every time we see one, we'll just fill it up again. So then if we do take any detours or we don't see any for a while, we're not gonna leave ourselves short. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, stand by, show you the campsite when we get, well, no, sorry. We're gonna to get to Inverness and film the start near the castle of the NC 500, the official start place. Let's go, baby! Stay tuned!